first time because my computer is being an asshole. I am going to crimp my hair as I get ready for a photo shoot and I am going to tell you how I prep for photo shoots, just kind of like some tips I have in my process, what works for me. So I have just put some of this um, Verb Glossy Shine Spray and Heat Protectant in like 10 minutes ago to let it dry down a little bit and then I'm gonna brush it through. And funny story about this crimper. This was a full manifestation. I had it in my flip cart and my Amazon cart for probably like six months and I was, you know, just kind of waiting for the right moment. And then I went to cat sit for my friend at her place in San Diego and she had it and I was so excited. It was the exact same brand I wanted. So I was using it while I was staying at her place and then when she got back, she's like, you, do you just want it? And I was like, hell yeah, I want it. So that worked out. Okay, so today I am shooting with my friend Dylan, who I often shoot with. Um, we do photos often, sometimes we do video content, and he has shot, um, done the videography for a number of my trailers for my classes. We are friends and collaborators, so we have a really good creative synergy. And I met him um, if you guys have ever heard of So Far Sounds, it's like a pop-up concert series where they do these house concerts and um, shows in non-traditional locales, so um, venues that aren't traditionally music show venues, so it could be like someone's house, it could be a yoga studio, it could be a furniture store, it could be an office space. Anyway, when I first moved to Seattle, part of my strategy for meeting people and just kind of getting the lay of the land was I became an MC for So Far Sounds, which was dope because I got to meet a lot of artists, I got to meet other people on the team, I got to explore these different venues, and I also got a lot of practice with public speaking. So <laughs> I love doing MC stuff. If anyone wants to hire me to MC something, you can. Um, I like being on stage and I like public speaking. So anyway, that's how I met Dylan because he is uh, the videography, video, Seattle videographer for So Far Sounds. And then we have been doing shoots together and, you know, kicking it for a number of years now. I have a couple other friends slash collaborators in different locales and in Seattle who I do shoots with. And um, that's how I do a lot of my content, my branding content for my business. And I also just do shoots for fun. Um, I do a little bit of modeling, like boudoir modeling for OnlyFans. You can follow me there, still getting the hang of it, but that's fun to, it's just like a fun form of expression. So sometimes I'll do a boudoir shoot, sometimes I'll do a brand shoot for my business. And I, I really love doing photo shoots. It's one of my favorite things that I do uh, in life and in my business. In part, I love the art direction. I love coming up with a concept and bringing it to life. Um, I also really enjoy styling myself for the shoot, so occasionally I'll have someone do styling for me, but as you know, I love fashion, so it's a really dope outlet for me for that, because I usually style myself, and um, I also really enjoy modeling, and it's a, a skill, something that I have gotten a lot better at. And I feel like what a lot of people don't understand about modeling is like, it really takes a lot of skill. It takes a lot of body awareness. It takes a lot of um, core strength to hold certain poses. It takes um, a lot of 
understanding of aesthetics and like how to perspective and like a, a visual understanding of how certain angles and things will show up. Um, and it's also really empowering. It's super empowering. Um, it's just a lot of fun it, it, to have that glam moment. Hello people, welcome. Drop me a comment if you want. I'd love to know who you are. Um, I'm talking a bit about how I prep for photo shoots. So as I mentioned, I pretty much always, unless I'm collaborating with someone on that front, I pretty much always um, come up with or kind of design the art direction myself and do my own styling. And today we're going to do, um, usually I'll do like, I'll plan three or four looks and it depends that like, if it's a photographer who I already have a rapport with and a lot of synergy, we can shoot that usually in like an hour and a half. Um, if it's someone new that I'm working with, sometimes it takes a little longer just to kind of like get the rapport going. That's another thing about photo shoots that's really fun and that um, is an important aspect is like having chemistry with your photographer um, because if someone knows how to, I mean, you're essentially just like hanging out while you're doing the shoot. You're collaborating, you're, you're like joining your visions, they have ideas, you have ideas, you try different things out. Um, but ultimately, if you feel comfortable with your photographer, that's when you're gonna get the best photos. And um, some of my favorite photos of myself are ones that my cousin takes because my cousin is a good photographer. She's also a um, fashion girly. She's a professional designer and seamstress. So whenever we do shoots, um, I absolutely love the pictures we get because I'm just so comfortable with her that we like, she, she just like really captures my essence. So that's one piece is um, if you want to do photo shoots, make sure to vibe check your photographer because, you know, the more you work with someone, the, the better your synergy gets for sure. Like the better your creative synergy gets. Um, but the more you feel comfortable with someone, the more they're, you're going to feel comfortable and the, the better pictures you're going to get because they're going to be able to really capture you in your essence and like as you're taking photos you're chatting you're hanging out and um your personality is going to pop and they're going to be able to capture that so that's a big piece of advice i have is that like choose a photographer whose energy you really like because if you feel comfortable with them and you're just having a good time hanging out you're going to get the best pictures so for today's shoot as i was saying i have um prepped a few looks and one that I'm really excited about that we're going to capture I have been wanting to do for a while which is we are going to replicate uh, have you, if you guys have ever seen that classic 80s rom-com say anything with John Cusack which is also a Seattle classic set in Seattle um, there is this really iconic moment where he is in a trench coat holding a boom box over his head outside of his paramours window with uh in your eyes by peter gabriel playing so um you just like google that image that's what we're gonna recreate which is like such an iconic romantic moment and i definitely want to continue i have um i have a few uh shoots planned for the next like six weeks or so um, because I need some content. I'm also working on refining and rebranding, um, my classes as well as like refining the content within them and re-recording some things new and improved. Um, but anyway, I really would like to do a series where I recreate like iconic rom-com moments. Uh, so if you guys have any other ideas, please let me know. I think another, I mean, another Seattle classic, and they don't even have to be Seattle classics. I'm just partial to those, but another one is 10 Things I Hate About You. So um, I might want to do a shoot at the Fremont Troll in Seattle, that big like stone troll under a bridge. Um, 
I think that'd be cool. That's also a special place for me because um, I would go there with my parents all the time when I was little, when we'd come out to visit my family in Seattle. And my dad used to um, like pick me up and I was so small, I could like sit on the troll's nostril and dangle my feet. <laughs> so I'm probably too big to sit on the troll's nostril now, but um, I need a hair clip. But it's a great memory and I would like to shoot some photos there. So anyway, that's look number one that, the, that we're gonna do. And then we're actually gonna get Ben out for about 40 minutes. Um, the cherry blossoms are blooming on our street right now, which is so pretty. And we're gonna take some engagement photos. Um, so I'm so excited for that. We kind of planned that last minute and I have been trying to get Ben to do a, an actual official photo shoot with me for some time. <laughs> and uh, it's something, you know, I'm more comfortable with than he is. So uh, I don't think he's been particularly enthused about the notion, but finally got him on board to do, take some engagement photos. So we're gonna do that as well. And then I'll probably do another uh, couple of looks, depending on our energy level. And I do want to take some new branding pictures for my class play date, which is all about um, making and meeting aligned adults, uh, sorry, friends as an adult and like growing and nurturing your social network as an adult. Um, it's kind of funny to be like as an adult, but you know what I mean. It's like outside of structured school settings and all of these things that make it really easy to meet people. So um, for that, I would love to capture the essence of fun because it's all about, you know, it's play day. It's all about like kicking it with the homies and having fun. So we'll probably shoot a couple of looks that could work for the branding of that and if the sun goes down maybe we'll do some kind of like cityscape night um like fashion fit paparazzi <laughs> energy pictures um so anyway that's what i have planned i want to give you guys a few other uh tips if you are someone who is interested in doing more photo shoots um i really recommend it even if, you know, whether or not you have a professional reason to do that, like, it's really empowering. It, it makes you feel, it grows your confidence in your body. Um, it's something I really recommend to clients as well who are learning to just like embody more of their sexuality and their confidence and their beauty. Um, it can feel a little scary, but it's, it's so powerful for um, embodying energies that you're wanting to um, anchor into more. So sometimes I do that with a shoot too. If there's just something I'm kind of like an identity that I'm nurturing in myself and I, I wanna capture that in a shoot and just like, it can be a really good practice for identity work. Um, so I really recommend it. Uh, and then of course, you know, if you're on the gram, if you're whatever it is, like, it's really awesome to have great photos of yourself that you feel good about. It's good for your confidence. There's so many ways you can use them and it gets you in your body. So, um, the, the first tip I just gave you guys was like vet for a photographer that you like <laughs> and who you have chemistry with because you're going to get better pictures because you're going to feel comfortable. They're going to get your personality. Um, and recognizing also that when you do a photo shoot with someone, it really is a creative co collaboration. And um, as I said, I have photographers that I work with, like a kind of a, a solid rotation, some in different locales, but then I also will work with new photographers and I love working with new people. Um, so sometimes I'll just meet someone and we're like, hey, we should do a shoot together. Sometimes if I'm traveling, like I'm going to New Orleans on Wednesday and I do have, um, uh, there is a photographer in New Orleans who I've worked with before who I'll probably do a shoot with, probably more like a boudoir style shoot. Um, 
because he does really cool film, like on film um, photos. Okay, let's see. Um, so, but sometimes I'll just like, you know, Google photographer New Orleans and then I'll usually see what comes up on Instagram and then like, I'll do a little vetting. I'll see if I like their work and the aesthetics and then I'll just DM them um, and see if they want to do a shoot together. So it's uh, honestly a lot of photographers, whether they're career photographers or um, people who just kind of like dabble <laughs> and like to do photography, like a lot of times they're very down because that's what they love to do. So it's great to have eager subjects who want to be photographed. Oh yeah, also like if you're actively dating, it's a really good idea for, and you're on online dating, like it's a really good idea to get some high quality photos. Um, does a lot, does a lot for your mojo, does a lot for um, how people perceive you, kind of like fashion, you know? Um, so that would be my advice, you know, so depending on the photographer, they may be willing to do a collaboration where like you model for them in exchange for the photos you both get photos it's a win-win it's a level six um sometimes they may want payment um so it kind of depends on what the exchange is um and i'll do different things depending at this point i mostly do collaborations but i've certainly done um i've certainly paid i, I love paying creatives <laughs> I love paying artists. Um, it really makes me happy. So um, I've definitely done a lot of that as well. But honestly, sometimes I, I'll do like a, a dating coaching session uh, or like a photographer will want some dating advice. So we just make an exchange in that way. So it's really up to you. But um, there is, you know, spate and reality is negotiable. So whatever is on the table for you or like, you know, Whatever is in your budget, I think there's ways to make it work. You can also just shoot with a friend on your iPhone <laughs> um, or shoot yourself. I, I am um, not literally. I uh, shoot a lot of my own content as well. So what I have learned works really well uh, on iPhone is um, I'll bring my little stand. So I have my phone right now on my on my stand and then I put um, I put it in video mode and I put it in 0.5, so it's a little zoomed out, and I turn the flash on, and then I'll film myself on the back camera. I'll try out a bunch of different poses, and um, then I'll take screenshots, and that works super well for like getting kind of alive, organic photos that like Feel like they have life and motion in them so that works really well i would definitely recommend that especially if you're just starting to dabble that's a great way to get the hang of um posing and all that because it's like <laughs> you can take as many videos as you want who's gonna stop you you know like uh you can really see like try something watch the video back see what worked like change the angle etc etc and the more you do it too like the better you'll get at posing um i do also watch like youtube videos or uh tiktok sometimes from models uh teaching how to pose and just like what to be aware of in terms of like proportions and angles and posture and all of these things um so i recommend doing that as as well because as i said it, it really is a skill and like it's something you do get better at and you will continue to get better photos when you um, practice. So finally, the last little tip I want to give, and then I'm going to hop off because I got to put on some, <laughs> I got these eyelashes at the pharmacy. Um, I haven't used this type before. I don't wear fake eyelashes all that much, but I, when I do, when I want to like do more glam for a photo shoot or a special event, I usually use these magnetic lashes from Glamnetic, which I also love because they're super easy. You just like use a um, magnetic eyeliner and then you pop these on. So I usually do that, but I'm going to, I'm going to try this out. Um, 
and then I might, if I have time before Dylan gets here, I might do some press on nails, um, just for a little more va va voom, especially because we're going to do some engagement photos. So obviously my hand is going to be, I want my hand to be, you know, <laughs> looking, I want to put my best hand forward, if you will. Um, okay, so my final tip before I hop off, it, and I feel like this is so, um, it's kind of like a philosophical thing too, and it applies not just to photo shoots, but to any like creative endeavor in life is honestly like 90% of your pictures are probably going to be shit. <laughs> So knowing that ahead of time, like the way you get the best photos is you take a bunch of photos, like take a ton of photos, try a bunch of things out and you're going to love some of them. But like, if you're just starting out, if you haven't done a ton of photo shoots before, you might, you know, find it discouraging. It's definitely can be kind of humbling to see bad pictures of yourself, but it's par for the course. Like probably 90% of the pictures are going to be bad. Um, and that's totally fine. And that's how you get the good pictures is by taking the bad pictures, just taking a bunch of pictures. So I feel like that applies to so many areas of life where it's like, you just got to do the thing. Like the, the people, you look at some of the most successful artists in different realms, it's like they're prolific. They make a bunch of stuff. And some of it's really good. And the stuff that's not is part of the process for hitting the jackpot on the song or the photo or the performance that's really good. So um, yeah, don't be afraid to take bad photos because that's how you get good photos. Don't be afraid to be prolific because that's how you hit the jackpot by experimenting. So that's what I have for you guys today. Um, I am... Tomorrow gonna be packing for New Orleans. I'm so excited. I'm going to one of my best friend's weddings. It's gonna be a backyard wedding. Um, so many of my friends from college are gonna be there. Ben's coming. Um, it's just gonna be a great time. So I'm gonna be tuning in with uh, daily lives from New Orleans. So probably tomorrow I might um, show you like my packing process, which is something I have refined. I'm like, I'm so excited to be sharing all my little systems and processes. Cause I, I like, they're just so satisfying to me. So it's like, mommy, look. Um, so thanks for being mommy. And um, thank you for watching, whether you caught this live or um, watch the replay, please leave me a comment. Um, and just let me know what res just, uh, resonated for you, um, what you would like to see me talk about, etc. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Wait. Oh my God. How do I end this on my? Okay.